When you first start using this luff key to identify caribou beetles, some of the couplets that you come along contain some confusing terminology. So this video is hoping to try and address that. And the one today that we're going to look at is an epipleuron and if it crosses near an apex. So Luff provides these diagrams, but like I say, when you first start out, they're a little bit difficult to understand. So we're going to try and find one on an actual caribou beetle. I'm going to use this ABAC specimen to see if we can locate the epipleuron. Now you'll just see that we've removed the tarsus from this hind leg here, just so that it exposes the margin of the elytra a little bit more. So the key to this is we want to follow the margin of the elytra right down to the very end. Now, if this is simple, this groove will go right the way around the back. If it's not simple, we'll see that it starts to run upwards and it crosses what we call the epiplorum. So if we take a zoom in, we'll start to see a little bit more detail. And actually what we find here is this isn't a simple margin, but in fact the margin of this elytra sort of curls up just a little bit here and it exposes this, it crosses the epiplorum. And now that you've seen it on a real beetle, it's actually much more easy to interpret this diagram in the book. So we'll see again that the margin of the elytra curls up and crosses the epiplorum. 